I was born in 1935 in the old Liverpool Maternity Hospital. I was an only child living with mum and dad and a maternal grandmother. Father was a guard on the overhead railway, uh, one might say big in the boys' brigade and the St John's ambulance. In 1938-39, he, like a lot of other men around the, on, in the country, volunteered for the Territorial Army because whether we liked it or not, that war was not far away. At the outbreak of war in September 39, I was just five years old. And my pre-war memories include, in particular, the, the BBC radio. It was very important uh, to thousands of ha homes because it kept you up to date. Of course, there weren't still newspapers, but it was, it was a much pleasanter way of, of gaining inf information. One of the ways that, that my mother and grandmother tried to deal with and overcome rationing was that they gradually filled a large metal trunk with items bought at the local grocers in, in, in Bootle. And the name of the grocers I always remember was Quirks, long forgotten these days. The items that they, that they stored away, they knew would become scarce during the prolonged conflict and the inevitable uh, continuation of rationing of food. At the same time, each of us was given gas masks fitted and issued to all, including babies. Being an evacuee was left to the, to the discretion and the decision of the parents. So it was a very democratic thing. Most people took the opportunity, but my family chose that I would stay at home. Something I never forget the sound of, and it, when it when they come on on the on the television these these days, it certainly reminds me, is the siren that used to go off, as as an alert that a raid might, uh, might continue. Incidentally, we'd all been fitted but with gas masks because that was the fear for the population was that the Germans would use gas. Um, because of its widespread use in the First World War. So we were all fitted out, whether male, female or, or, ch or child. The next big event in our, in our lives would takes us to May 1941. Although Liverpool had had many air raids, there was a, a concentrated effort on the part of the German Luftwaffe to annihilate us in May 1941, known as the famous Eight Nights. They bombed every single night in, a, in an effort to try to close down the port because it was very much the, um, the cornerstone of British re resistance on the West Coast because this is where all the cargoes from America and in the convoys were, co were coming and then distributed from us. We were away from the from the very strategic sites that the Germans were, were after, although they did try to damage camelers, the shipbuilders and repairers, which was vital to the war effort, uh, by um, dropping landmines. Because the Mersey was in, was in a sort of valley, they drifted them in from the highest spot on, on the Wirral. Not all was working, but one of them did on the opposite side of this oval area, it completely wiped out a half street, taking everybody with it. I then went to school. Now I hadn't been to school, and by this time I was at least six and a half. So it, it definitely, the war had a dramatic part from making me a very frightened, rabbit-like creature. I, I wasn't really up to, up to standard educationally. Of course it seemed, of long as you were alive, that, that was the main thing.